Hello, hello, it is Jackie with Pocket of Preschool and I am coming to you this morning to show you the brand new All About Insects Science Unit um, for little, lear little learners. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it around and kind of show you all the goodies that it includes. So I do have a separate, so I have two kind of insect units. So I have the All About Butterfly Unit since we all do butterflies. So that one is separate from this insect unit. And this insect unit, you can do a few different ways. You can have ladybugs. So if you um, get ladybugs for your classroom, you can do it with ladybugs. You can do this um, insect centers or insect science set with ants. So you can have live ladybugs, you can have live ants. You can also do it if you just like go on your playground and collect insects that you guys find out there. So you can do it with like, you know, backyard insects, you can do it with ladybugs, or you can do it with ants. And I'll kind of show you how that would work um, when, I, when I flip it around. So let me flip it around and um, show you all the things. As always, it includes a science table set up. So this one is set up for ants. And we are actually getting ants in my classroom this year. They should be here like today or tomorrow. So I'm very excited. So it has vocabulary cards. And you can see the vocabulary cards are all different insects. So it talks about the different body parts or the different parts of an insect. And then just different um, insect words are also included. And then eat, there is an ant fun fact page, there is a ladybug fun fact page, and there's a general insect fun fact page. So you could put that with whatever live, put it, put it out to kind of match what insect you have. And then this one is set up to explore ants. So I have the life cycle of an ant um, principle, and these are on Velcro, so that way they can take them off and put them in order. There's also just like a one page poster. And then you would have your insect habitat so they can order it. And like I said, we don't have our, our ants are not here yet. Um, and then I would put out some plastic um, insects of whatever insect you have out. And then you can put out the parts of an insect. And then for the journal pages, they are just general my insect discoveries or my insect journal and then you can always if you're doing the journal covers just kind of color make the the cover the color of the insect so if you're doing ladybugs make the journal cover red um for ants you can make it yellow um so you kind of get get what i'm saying there so let me show you the rest of it so that's kind of the ant setup you could do um so here is kind of the the ladybug setup. So I actually bought the habitat, but we don't. There's no ladybugs in here either. I just did it so I could kind of um, get a feel for how that would work. Um, so you could have your ladybug habitat out, and then there is a life cycle of a ladybug. Again, there's a one-page poster, and then there are the cards, and there's also recording pages for both. Here would be like the insect journal cover. You could put out and make that one red. Fun facts about ladybugs. You could put out your um, ladybug um, animals that way they can touch them and they can feel them because obviously they can't touch whatever insect is inside oh and then there are the stages of the insect those are included too and then you have the parts of the ladybug and then the science prompt to go with the ladybug so you can see that would kind of work if you have a ladybug and maybe some years you do ants and some years you do ladybugs so that's why I kind of put both in there and then here are Oops, sorry. Here, there's um, you can also there's also the big parts of an ant and parts of a ladybug um, anchor charts that you could do, and then again the recording pages for both. And then, if you're doing just like maybe you have backyard insects, or maybe you want to put this activity out because we all know sometimes um, you know when they're in different the insects are in different stages, um, they're kind of not doing anything. Um, so you could put out this kind of insect, not an insect sort. So there's two ways you could do it. So you could do it on like, make like a file folder game with it, like this. Oof, they're stuck. And they could sort what is an insect and what is not an insect. Or you could put out a little sorting board with the cards and then put out some real insect and not insect little animals. 
So you could do it that way as well. And then you could have them build an insect. So put out some Play-Doh. Um, there's pattern blocks included and maybe just like some, I have ideas in there for you, um, but that way they can build an insect based on what um, the characteristics of insects. So insects would need a head, a thorax, an abdomen, they need six legs and two antennas. So they could kind of make their little insect with Play-Doh. And these are just the paper pattern blocks that I put in um, the Play-Doh, so that way they could kind of build an insect and explore the characteristics of an insect with, by um, building um, with their hands. And then if you want, there's a recording page to kind of go with it. Um, oh goodness, um, that way, you know, a fun little STEM challenge and then um, a recording page to go with that. Um, and then there, here's the fun facts about insects page. So you could put that out with it. And then you could also just put out big or small insect animals and then they could measure them and see which one is the biggest. So again, another hands-on activity at the table um, while the insects are in the little habitat because you know, Sometimes they do get bored just observing them. And then there's also these beautiful, um, real photograph, um, just, oh, sorry, gross, cockroach. Um, just um, all the different insects, um, little cards, um, classification cards that are included, which are really fun. You could use all different ways. You could put them on a book ring, just have them out in your, um, by the center. You could have them out by your bug, bug build the insect, um, challenge that way they can look at all the different insects and compare them um so yeah there's um i can't remember i think there's 12 um different insects included um insect cards included and these are like um four to a page and then um there is a read aloud included and it's a general about insects and then there is a insect um an insect parent note you can send home and then there's a couple different anchor charts. So you could do R, can, eat, live. And this one's just general about insects, so you could do this one. Or if you're focusing on ants, you could do it just about ants, or you could do it just about ladybugs. So you can kind of see, you can kind of do, focus on, if you're doing ladybugs, kind of focus in on the ladybugs. You can do general insecty things if you're just collecting bugs from outside, um, or I'm gonna try not to make you guys dizzy. Again, you could focus on ants. Cause I know like some of us have kids for two years and some, well, some of us like loop with our kiddos. So some years you might get ladybugs and some years you might get ants and some years you might just collect bugs off the playground or maybe they're finding them. Um, so I put all of this in one pack together because I know um, I, I didn't make them separate because some of the activities would have been the same, so I just lumped it in one big, amazing, all about insects pack. So yeah, so if you want to grab it, go to the top of this post and grab it. And again, if you own the science bundle, it is there. So go ahead and go over to TBT and download that again. All right, well, I don't see any questions, so you guys have an amazing, um, amazing, amazing, oh, somebody's asking about where I found the houses. So I found that the ant, so this is the ant one I did, and it came with a voucher in it. Um, so this one's from Insect Lore, and I got them off Amazon, I wanna say. And then, so that's the ant one I have, and then if you turn it around, they can make the tunnels, and it comes with sand. And then this is the ladybug one I got. Um, again, from Amazon, you can also go to Insect Lore. I usually get my insects from Insect Lore. Um, like when I order butterflies and things. So you guys have a fabulous night and I will talk to you guys soon. See you later.